Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Zay here. So today was a crazy day. So first of all, I I did two sessions. One of the sessions was at Muay Thai. So I went over to Steel MMA. That's where I train, and I had a great training session with my coach Carl. Uh, he's awesome. We worked on a couple of stuff that we hadn't worked on in a while. I, I hadn't gone to Muay Thai since I had my baby, um, Melinda, and so. It was very shocking, to say the least, to see where my condition was at. So, <laughs> there was a point in the training where I was uh, 20 minutes in, and I could have swore we were already at the 40 minute mark. I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know your cardio is When you look at the clock and you think it's 54, and that's a 34. You're missing 20 minutes. Um, Carl does not go light on me, especially since I'm a bigger guy. Uh, he knows he gets <laughs> harder kicks, so he, he makes sure to tire me out. So we worked on a couple of things. One of the first things that we worked on was elongating my punches. Because um, because of weightlifting, I've noticed that my, my body gets really tight, and so it's really good to, for me to go ahead and work on really elongating my punches but really bringing power into them as I'm doing it as well so that's a little bit uh, <laughs> counterintuitive especially with weightlifting you you really tend to tighten everything especially in the back and in my tight it's completely different um, you have to be very relaxed so <laughs> very polar opposite but in any case we were working on that my kicks on my switch kick we were working uh, quite a bit because my regular kicks were fine. What I needed to do was step in a little bit more to the side. That way you can get the power. Because you need to get an angle. A lot of times, depending on the style, but the particular style that I train in, you tend to get in on the kick as opposed to just hitting this way. You're supposed to kick and move to the side at the same time. Just a tiny, tiny step. And that helps out with the power production quite a bit. So, was working on that. And then finally at the end, really keeping that speed in my hands, really moving around, dodging. Um, that way I could last really throughout the entire session. So <laughs> it was pretty cool. Um, really neat to see Carl once again, and I'm going to be seeing him twice every week. Um, on Tuesdays, expect the video on sparring. That's what I usually do on Tuesdays, and that'll just be sparring. There won't be any weightlifting, nothing. Um, that just puts you. And on Thursdays, it'll be regular one-on-one uh, -on -one session like that. And just for today, I went ahead and did an Oli session right after, just because it was a little bit of a lighter day on the Oli. And so what I did for Oli was muscle snatches. We started off with muscle snatches. So just regular muscle snatch from the ground all the way up. And so that was three sets of that. But when I did, it was four muscle snatches and then do a squat, only two of those. That's the way the program from Toroki was written. So I went with it. And then right after we did push presses, push presses on, on regular clean and jerk um, <laughs> grip. And so that was good. And it was supposed to be 50% of my one rep max clean and jerk. So it was 135 because I can lift 275. That's my max clean and jerk. So, so of course it started to rain. And then it was four of those push presses, four sets of four. So at 50%, that was really good. It was a combination of good mornings with a full squat all the way to the bottom and then plate jumps. And that was it. That was the end of the workout. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, I'm super cooked, but today was a great little workout. It was a, a good test of endurance overall and power, energy, stamina, everything, the whole nine yards. So I did get a coconut drink right in between and a little bit of a glucose uh, drink again right in between the workouts because if not there was no way I was going to survive with the adequate amount of power plus putting the amount of emphasis that I wanted to put on the weightlifting that I wanted to so that turned out fine I survived that workout obviously that doesn't get done often and especially this close to um, both of them they were kind of back to back um, so done really good day uh, Hope you guys enjoy the <laughs> seeing a little bit of the footage of me training. Uh, once again, I don't show this a lot. Uh, obviously, I'm not perfect in my technique and I am very conscious about it, but I'm also happy to show you guys, you know, to expose myself out there. Hopefully it makes my technique better. Hopefully somebody can go ahead and, and comment on it. But in any case, guys, that is all for today. I'm cooked, need to go home, cook some food, 
and go to bed. Say out. Peace.